soybean.com so I've been trying my best to actually capture this video as formally as I can but I cannot so today I'm gonna join my baby and my husband on this video so this video is gonna be um, a tutorial and a run through on my digital book journal using Evernote on iPhone so the steps that was taken on this video was actually done using a um, mobile device which is an iPhone so some steps that I'll be showing there may not work on other platforms like Windows, Android devices, and um, Mac computers. So as an introduction, I guess you need to know what is a bullet journal and what is Evernote. So basically Evernote is just a note-taking app, one of the best note-taking apps that you could actually use across all platforms. So you can use it on iOS devices, MacBook, Windows computer, um, Chrome OS, web browsers, and they say Android devices, yeah. So almost every type of devices. So Bullet Journal, it's actually a physical um, notebook that you can use wherein you can um, manipulate it the way you want it to be. So you can make your own design, set it up the way, you know, it's gonna work for you to track your things. So to give you an idea, this is a bullet journal. So see, so that's what she's doing with bullet journals that I have. So that's why I actually you know, stopped using it. She's trying to... <laughs> so she always tries to break it. So I don't have time to write on this bullet journal. And at the same time, you see, I, I won't really be... Um, you know, somehow capable of doing it at all okay <laughs> so imagine how I would be able to write on that bullet journal if she keeps on breaking it right so um, the reason I actually decided to use a digital bullet journal using Evernote so just so you know, um, there's also some apps that is specializing with um, digital journaling, but they are quite um, expensive than Evernote. You can get them for free, however, you get a lot of limitations. And like with Evernote, you can use it for free with some limitations, but only with storage. But most likely, you can use almost all the features in note-taking and using it as a journal but uh, for you for new users of Evernote um, if you don't have any account yet there's a link on the description where you can actually um, register and have a one month free premium trial okay so now we're about to go to the next part of this video which gonna contain most likely um, screen recordings and slides so if you do have any questions or if I missed something in this video that is related to bullet journaling on Evernote, um, you can actually comment, uh, I mean leave a comment, you can also give feedback or just say anything that you wanted to say, um, just feel free to do it on the comment section. Now please don't forget to subscribe as well, like and share, so that's really um, a big favor if you're gonna do that, okay? So let's now go to the next part. Let's just say goodbye to them. Bye bye, we go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Yeah, she's busy eating. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. So what to expect on this video? So this is the first video where you'll hear me talk and you'll see an Evernote digital budget setup. So that's a bullet journal that I actually made using my Evernote. So we also get into the four parts of my journal and we're gonna also include how to use like how to duplicate notes, create tables and dividers, also how to internal link and how to use the tags. Okay, so now we're opening the Evernote app. So the notes are just taking a while to load. Ok, 
Okay, let's try and look for the um, journal notebook for us to see the journal setup that I have made. So here is the complete setup. So you see 2018 August to December. Okay, so this is the daily logs, productivity task, the monthly view, and the gratitude um, ref and reflections. So this is the first part of the journal, that is the main page or the monthly view. So if you'd see it has subparts which are the goals, the scheduled events, and the pages. So pages are internally linked with hyperlinks. And um, scheduled events, it's also hyperlinked, although that links to the iOS calendar app. And the goals are on checkboxes. So this is just the simplest way to set it up. You can also add or remove some things on it. So let's go ahead and try out the hyperlink for the iOS calendar. Okay, click on it. And then it would show you create event, show in calendar, and copy event. So once you click create event, it would just open up the calendar app for the iOS wherein you can actually create the event for that specific date it actually works also on messages I believe so there let me just add this one Now from the pages, let's just click on productivity and task, which is the second part of my bullet journal. So if you can see, it will list the date and the task for that specific day. So we're gonna use the dividers here as well, which I'm gonna tell you how to make one later on. So we're just gonna do add a new task every night before I end the day. At we're gonna do it above the note so that the outdated tasks which most likely gonna be um, you know completed will be below the page so just in case a task were incomplete we're just gonna copy paste it above so that's an example of new task for the next day So you see the link for August 2018 above, that is also an internal link, which lets us go back here. Now let's take a look at the third part of the journal, which is the daily logs. So if you can see, it's gonna be on a table form, which I'm gonna tell you how to do later on. So there are two columns and of course 32 rows for the header and the 31 days. Okay, so we're gonna take note of the um, things that we have done in a day in a bullet point and if you'll see this checkbox is there that's a recurring task and PTU is actually my medication for hyperthyroidism so that's gonna be three times a day so same thing we have the August 2018 below and also here above which gives us an access to going back to the main page So now let's take a look at the gratitude and reflections. So this is the fourth part of the journal. Actually, gratitude is something that I wanted to start practicing on. And reflections is something that I do every end of the month. So that reflects to whatever good thing or bad thing happened, what to expect on the following month. So the bad thing here is when you hyperlink, you just have to click back, back, back until you get to the home page. Okay, so this part, we're going to create the tables and dividers, which we actually used on the previous notes. So for us to create the table, we're going to follow this formula. So we're going to use square brackets for the number of columns. So let's just type it there. And then the letter X 
and then the number of rows. So each square bracket means one column, two columns, and then three columns for this formula, and then X, and then the number of rows. Just hit enter, it would create the table. Now three dashes to make a divider, or three equal signs, or three star signs. So simple, right? But of course, for you to be able to enable that, you have to, um, you know, take some t steps. So that is by enabling the advanced editing. So you just have to go to the settings, and then look for this, notes, and then advanced editing on the top. Just click on it and make sure everything there is enabled. So for your reference, you'll also see there how to make the dividers, the checkbox, code blocks, tables, and yeah, those things. Okay, so now let's talk about tags. So did you see what I clicked? It's like the price tag thing. So that pertains to the tags. So you just have to click on it to filter some things. Like for example this one. I actually click the tags onto the monthly overview. Let's try to change it to daily logs. So it would show you all notes under daily logs. And then task. All notes that is under task. And the meditation tag. So if you'd see, we don't have the September yet for the meditation. So that's what we're going to do later on. Okay, so this is um, only on the specific notebooks. But if you're on the main page, you can also search for the tags of the all notes. So as I mentioned, we don't have yet the September Gratitude and Reflection. So for us to create one, we're going to do duplicate the notes. So just click on the three dots above and then click on duplicate note and then it will duplicate. Copy of August. So we're just going to edit this one to September. Okay. And then you see the hyperlinks, it's still on August. But for us to make uh, things done properly, we're going to do the internal linking. Okay, so we're going to change that later on. But first, we're going to copy this internal link. Just click on the person with the plus sign there. And more sharing options. Okay, once you click it, just copy internal link. Then it will copy the link for the September gratitude and reflections so we're just gonna paste that on the main page so since this one is numbered we just have to start the cursor from the number two just hit the enter or return then number three we're just gonna paste it so whatever title they have there it's gonna be used on the hyperlink Okay, so now for us to change the August 2018 there, we're just going to copy the hyperlink or the internal link for this uh, monthly overview for September. And we're just going to change this one from August and then paste. So that's September. Just format it to whatever you want. But apparently on Evernote on iPhone, you're not able to change the text of the link. Although you can delete some of it, but you cannot entirely change it. Okay, now let's just copy this thing to that part and paste it. Okay, so we have it on top and below. So I always do that so just to make sure that we will be able to access it even from the top of the note or even at the end of the note. Okay, so now that's the um, three sub parts 
of the main page. You can add or edit this anytime you like. So let's just try to create an event from Evernote to the iPhone calendar app. So you just have to you know, type the event that you want and then the date. Actually, this applies, I believe, to any app. Even in messages, if you type in a date, the iPhone will recognize that it is a date and would give you a hyperlink wherein you can create and um, or wherein you can actually open the calendar app. I'm not sure though, but something that nice to use. So this is the first birthday of my daughter. That's gonna be September 29. So it takes a while before it gets. Okay, so you have to save the note first. Okay, there. So now it's automatically hyperlinked. So let's just create it as an event. Hopefully, they can include the text beside it to make it as the title of the event, but. So once you save the event, you can just click on it from your note and view it to the can calendar. So it's pretty cool and nice to have an accessible calendar on your notepad as well, right? Which is Evernote. So the four parts, main page, productivity and task, um, daily logs, and last thing is gonna be the gratitude and reflections. You can add anything you like or remove some of it. Okay, so I think that's all that you need to know right now. So just in case that you wanted to ask for more, please um, comment down below and thanks, thanks for watching! <laughs> Subscribe to my blog and also to my YouTube channel. Thank you.